Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. This is the gladiatorial arena that is the Stadio Olimpico, for so long the symbol of Rome's grand sporting history. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1 well this setup Peter can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four but it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot it can have a, a devastating effect actually at the offensive end of the pitch too That gets things running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd ex and the shot! Fijnaldum, Memphis Depay, out to the right, Berghaus, can he deliver, aimed in towards the centre, Lint pumps it into the area, away Berghaus Bubble! It's anyone's ball Well, they won't be deterred from trying again, Peter They have the bit between their teeth now Bubble behind for a corner kick cleared away forward it goes and it's Memphis to Pine The Netherlands are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. And yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Van Dijk. No goals as yet. Elmas! Blint. Blint plays it forward. Barble. Barble going full tilt down the left. Hit into the middle. 
Keeper has beaten it away. Daron. Daron clips one through. That's been drilled forward. Loose ball, who's going to get there? And it's Blint. And that's been levered clear. 30 minutes gone. The room. Blint. The room. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. Barbel, the room, lobs it in gently. Berghaus, massive leap. All the balls come loose. Gets good distance on it. It's an entertaining game. This. Both teams have had chances, but it is still nil-nil. Here it comes. And through to the goalkeeper. The road. Berghaus. He could be close for goal! And the referee brings the first half to a close. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil then. Start of another 45 minutes. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Berghaus. Oh, that's neat. So who's he picking out? Swung in towards the middle. Corner given. Lint goes short. Berghaus. The Netherlands given another corner. Towering header! He will be livid with himself. And it's Pandev. Coached through there. And it's hoisted clear. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Berghaus. Played into the middle. And that's out of reach. 
so here comes the substitution. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Barbel. Up towards the front line. Blint. Fine Aldum. It is still anyone's game. Nil-nil. Berghaus. Great leap! Just couldn't turn it in. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Lovely feet. And it's the Rhone. Blint. Babel really was well marshalled there because he was denied. Foul right on the edge of the box, it could go either way here. No, the referees judged that the offence took place outside the area. He's gone for the shots! This could fall anywhere! Blint. The room. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Now the counter. Elmas. Alioski. Elmas. He should have done better, and he knows it. Pandev weighed up the options and picked the wrong one. The Netherlands can make their change now with uh, a break in play. The room. De Ligt goes looking. Berghaus conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. He's pinged one through here. Van der Beek. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. He's gone for it! It's in! Finally, the deadlock is broken! Absolutely thundered in. Keeper, no chance. That is just the top draw finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. The Netherlands break the deadlock. I think the danger for them now is fatigue. I think when the body tires, the mind soon follows. So concentration is key from here. De Ligt. Van Dijk. Tries to switch the play. Berghaus gets into a dangerous position.
Van der Beek! Van der Beek! Oh, and that should have been two. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. The room. Five minutes left on the clock. And he's going long. Van Arnholt. Hurls himself at it! The Netherlands certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Patrick Van Arnholt. Patrick Van Arnholt takes a look up. Oh, real danger here! That looks a good ball. The official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Well, that's where he wants it. The Netherlands. And the referee brings it to a close. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, look, it was certainly a lot closer than I expected it to be. It was anything but a foregone conclusion. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you.